Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo and Joe Bayer in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. So let's get open for business here, and let's wake up those football gods. How's everybody doing on this Saturday? We've made it to the weekend. Thank God we've made it to the weekend. And, um... Today, it's an important day. It's a huge day. It is Senior Bowl Day. Today, uh, 2.30, it kicks off. We'll start uh, live streaming at 2 o'clock. My man, DMV, Dallas Cowboy, so will be here. He's already doing a lot of great work breaking down the prospects. We'll be going through watching the game. We'll be going through the rosters and looking at guys that may be able to help the Dallas Cowboys. So I hope you guys tune in. You know, because, hey, we only have this game. And then we've got the Super Bowl next weekend. And that's it. It's the NFL winner. And we sit only 90 days, 9 hours, 59 minutes, and 50 seconds away from the NFL draft. So we've got a lot of work to do between now and then. So I'm trying to, okay, I love to debate. I love to argue with people. I love to try and look at situations and come up with solutions. You, you guys know when I build the racks, people, you know, originally I just made just a single rack. And somebody said, hey, why don't you put a football behind it? And so that evolved into painting them team colors and stuff. And, you know, we, we started out with the racks for just shot glasses. Then somebody said, well, I don't drink. Can you do one for coffee mugs? Sure, we did one for coffee mugs and got that squared away. And then somebody said, um... You know, uh, can you do one for my beer glasses? They're taller than the coffee mugs. And another person said, I, I got many helmets I want to do. And then somebody said, I got the uh, pop figures. So we, we get creative. And then I came up with one for the hats. So I got the hat racks. I had to think about how to make that work and stuff. Figure it out. Boom. And then, of course, John says, hey, I need one for uh, my hoodies. We came up with a hoodie one. So I, I like to be a problem solver. I like to be a person that debates people. I, I like to come up with solutions. And I like to try and look at things from different angles, okay? I'm going to appease the people that say, let's go ahead and get, you know, let Dak walk because the money we'll save, we can fix the defense. Okay. All right. Let, let's go with that premise that we can fix the defense, just by not paying Dak Prescott. All right. Last year, I want to go through. Let, let's go through here. Let me see. Last year. This is from last year, okay? This is what we did in free agency. All right? We had some of our own free agents that we re-signed, and we went out and we looked elsewhere. Okay, Anthony Brown, okay, he's under contract. He's one of the few defenders that we still have under contract. Signed a three-year, $15 million deal last year. He'll be coming back. We said we need help at safety, so we went out and we signed Clinton Ha Ha Dix to one-year deal, $4 million, okay, um, in which case we paid out two and a half when we cut him in training camp. We paid him two and a half million dollars, guaranteed. Didn't make it through training camp. Amari Cooper, of course, we re-signed. We signed Andy Dalton, but that's not on the defense. We re-signed Cameron Irving, um, Everson Griffin. We signed Emerson Griffin to a six million dollar deal. Emerson Griffin that we traded to the Detroit Lions. Okay, Sean Lee, of course, we re-signed Joe Looney. Gerald McCoy. Gerald McCoy signed a three-year, $18 million contract, which worked out to $6 million a year, got injured, the Cowboys cut him. Eventually, it cost him $3 million for last year. We signed Don Terry Poe, which was $4.5 million. And, of course, uh, Alden Smith, we signed him to a one-year deal, $2 million that could have been worth up to four, okay? Unfortunately, he didn't get 13 sacks, so he didn't get that full package. Uh, Darian Thompson, uh, we re-signed. And then Daryl Worley signed a one-year, $1 million deal. So if you take those deals, those free agent contracts that we signed, 
These are players that were not with the Dallas Cowboys. The contracts were worth $23 million. We spent $23 million in free agents. Now, that doesn't go into the, the money where we re-signed, um, you know, uh, extension for um, Jalen Smith or anything, but we spent $24 million. Now, hypothetically, with Dak Prescott, with Dak Prescott, um, you see $37 million is the franchise tag that would be reduced if they got a long-term deal um, done. But hypothetically, let's say you just let him go and you re-sign Andy Dalton. Okay, Andy Dalton's not going to be for free. I'm sure he's going to want at least a $10 million contract to come back to be the start of the Cowboys. So that reduces the amount of money that you have to spend on fixing the defense at about $27 million. Although there is the $17 million that, that's there right now that you're not going to have to spend with Dak. So, no, actually, you won't have that because you'll be using that on Dak. So, back to it. You got $24 million to spend. How are you doing? How are you fixing the team? What is going to make this defense go from 28th to, say, you're going to need a top 10 without Dak Prescott and Andy Dalton? Let's take a look at the top free agents that are out there. Okay. Dak Prescott, of course. Uh, we're not, we're with George Kittle. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great to get. Uh, Ronnie Stanley, okay, don't need a tackle. Okay, Jalen Ramsey. Okay, Jalen Ramsey um, is a free agent on most season, as they put it. He kept his promise and didn't hold out, but he needs to get a get on track, okay? So there is stress with the Raider of Rams on whether or not they're going to pay him. Now, he is really good, although he's disappeared a couple times, and he did kind of screw us because it was pass interference against us. We should have won that game. Um, understandably, he's going to be one of the highest paid cornerbacks in the NFL, and that's going to be over, you know, $16 million a year. Okay. Don't need offensive tackle. Okay. Kenny Clark, 24 years old, Green Bay. Now one of the most dominant police defensive tackles in the sport. Love to have him. But he agreed to a deal, $70 million extension that includes $25 million signing bonus for four years. So when you look at that, you're talking about $18 million for a great defensive tackle. Okay. Don't need a receiver with Allen Robinson. Shaquille Barnett. He had 18 quarterback hits, 55 hurries in addition to a leading sack of 19 and a half sacks in 2019. If he comes anywhere close to those numbers again, he'll be rank, uh, he's ranked here too low. Um, yeah. D-Law money. That's in the 20s. Keenan Allen, Cam Newton, Chris Godwin, Alvin Kamara, Justin Simmons. Justin Simmons, I would love to have Justin Simmons. That, that, that is the guy I would love for the Cowboys to get, whether they sign Dak or not. The Athletic wrote a compelling price asking if um, underpaid dynamic safeties are on the market ineffectively. The Broncos' defense wouldn't function the same way without Simmons. Simmons will be 16 a year. I'd like to get that guy. I would, you know, we, we talked about trying to get um, Earl Thomas, who is way old. Justin Simmons is the guy to go get, okay? Um, Joe Toon, offensive tackle. Um, let's see who else we got. Cooper Cuff, Kenny Galladay, Dalvin Cook, uh, Henry Hunter, it's tight end, Trent Williams, uh, Joe Mixon, Matt. Um, David is, um, also too, another great linebacker. That's going to be 10, 12 million. And Matt Milano. Matt Milano, again, another 10 to $15 million. So the money you're talking about saving with Dak Prescott, I'm not sure how you're fixing the defense with about $20, $25 million. 
because you now not only do you have to make the defense better, but you now have to make the defense better to make up for the production that won't get with the with the lack of Dak Prescott. And if you're talking about trading for Matthew Stafford, um, he's going to need a new contract. He's in the last two years of it. Um, I know the Cowboys like to wait till the end of a contract to try and do some stuff because that ends up, you know, putting the to screwing them literally to the table. Um, but you need to do his contract over. And when you eventually get to his, the quarterback market is going to be raising. It, 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 it doesn't matter who you're signing. When you look around and you're seeing all these teams that are looking for quarterbacks and you're seeing all these quarterbacks that are going to be free agents, the price isn't going to go down. When you're desperate, you're going to spend more money on them. Um, but I'll, I'll appease you guys if you want. If you think we can fix the defense and we can get a top 10 defense with $25 million, I would love to see how you're going to do it because that's what we spent last year. And they didn't bust a grape. Some of them didn't even make it out of training camp. At best, you're going to get two players. And I'm not sure two players alone are going to fix the defense. Now, you really want to fix the defense? Draft. Draft, 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 draft. Draft is the few things, one of the few things that have really worked out for the Dallas Cowboys is drafting well. But I think the Cowboys need to change their emphasis because on the defense, they always spend a lot of draft capital on edge rushers and linebackers. And they ignore the defensive tackles and the safeties. They always look for a guy late in the draft because they figure we can get a guy late in the draft and they'll be fine and we can plug him in. But that's not the way. Also, too, they've had a philosophy of guys that are tall and kind of lean. Guys that are 6'4", 6'5", but are kind of light in the ass. I need me that Vita Vey type. That guy who's kind of shorter, that's like 6'1", and that's about 350, but has a motor that can push the pocket. Get me that guy. Get me a real safety. We had an opportunity to get Juan Thornhill as well as some of the other safeties that are out there. Three of the top four safeties were there right after Tristan Hill. We decided, meh, we'll get a safety in the end of the draft. We've got to spend draft capital getting those positions because those positions are game changers. And we have the opportunity to do that with the draft. Now, me and DMV, we're talking about the amount of quarterbacks that people are going to be looking at. It's possible four quarterbacks could go to the top ten. If some of those start sliding, it's possible somebody might want to move up to try and get one of those quarterbacks, jump ahead of some of the other competition, a team that's quarterback hungry. Um, you know, we're hearing that uh, the Rams could trade Jared Goff. That's a possibility. There's going to be a lot of quarterback upheaval. And if we have the opportunity to trade back five, six, eight spots and get some extra picks, that's how you're honestly going to build the defense. The more picks, the better. Get these young guys out there because when our defense started to turn, so when we got rid of these old free agents of Don Terry Poe and Emerson Griffin, and we started getting the Randy Gregories, the Navelle Gallimores out there, that's when the defense started playing better. The young, hungry talent that said, I got to play lights out for the next four years so I can get the big payday. That, my friends, is what the Dallas Cowboys need to do. All right, I will see you guys here at 2 o'clock. I need to go out and get some more, some more lumber because I think we're going to be snowed in, and I want to make sure I can be working on the racks. So be safe out there and uh, keep spreading the mojo.